keeping the baby on one breast doesn't make sure that the baby gets higher fat milk. When the mothers no longer see the pause, instead of letting the baby just fall asleep at the breast or have the baby fall, pull away from the breast, we teach the mother, okay, get your hand around the breast, and as the baby sucks but doesn't drink, compress. And that compression will allow the baby to get more milk, and that often is all that's necessary in order to fix the colic that the baby may have. You know, the benefits of breast milk, I never talk about the benefits of breast milk or breastfeeding. I talk about the risks of formula feeding. And anybody that suggests that infant formulas are almost like breast milk hasn't a clue. They're not at all similar. The only similarity between them is that they're both liquid. But if you look at the biochemistry of breast milk and formula, they're very, very different. It's normal to breastfeed. That's what babies are supposed to get. That's the stuff that they were made to get. But I think there's more there, and it's hard to prove some of these things. The sense of empowerment, the sense of uh, accomplishment, the sense of, of self-worth that mothers develop when they, when they breastfeed successfully. Because it's not easy always, that's for sure. But when you overcome difficulties, it becomes something of a sense of pride and self-worth and self-esteem. And I think this is something we often forget. And if we're talking along those lines, the special relationship with the baby, which I just cannot believe that people don't see this, that they don't believe that there's something special about the breastfeeding relationship. That's because they don't look, because they don't think, because they don't watch. They think it's all the same, but it's not.